Hey boys and girls, so it's that time of year again. CVS is having their um, annual clearance uh, fiasco. So um, of course I went out and I bought a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that I got. Well, I got quite a bit of stuff. I actually made two trips. I made one trip last night. I went to the Walgreens um, down the street from me and they only had some things that were on clearance. And then today I decided to go across town to the other CVS and they had a lot more things on clearance, but they also had different things on clearance. So um, if you're interested in this um, clearance dealio fiasco, I'm just going to keep calling it a fiasco. Um, I actually go to the website nouveaucheap.com um, and she actually has like a master list and that's kind of where I got my information from. I can... I guess I can post a link to her website down below, but um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys kind of the things that I bought and, you know, most um, most of the items are 50% off, but then there are some things that are 75% off, so I try to keep with the 75% off section because everything that's really 50% off is, I mean, they're not really things that I really want, um, but I did buy a few things. Anyways, we'll just, you know, the first thing that I bought was a L'Oreal Hip, um, it's the metallic shadow. It's the duos. This one is in gilded. I've always liked this one, but these are normally about eight fifty to nine dollars, kind of depending on where you live and where you buy it. Um, but I got this one for half off, so I got it for about four something. But um, it's you know, it's like this very antique gold, and then you've got like this brown with like gold sparkle in it. And I'm sorry that my camera quality is not that great. I'm actually using my Mac, so I don't know why it's not the greatest, but um, I have several, several of these, and I do love them, and they always coordinate the color so you can wear them both, or you can use one or the other, whatever you want. So, but like I said, these are half off. There are um, a couple more. Not all of these are on clearance, just selected colors, so just keep that in mind. I mean, if you see a product here that you like, but you want it in a different color, I mean, not all colors are going to be on clearance. So, And by the way, I don't think that these items are necessarily being discontinued. I just think that CVS is trying to clearance out some things so they can make room for new products. So, The next thing I got was um, these are the Revlon Color Burst Lipsticks. And I, I like these. I mean, Revlon makes really good lip products. I mean, I have to say that. Like, I found myself going to Revlon for lipsticks, lip glosses, those um, kissable or lip stains or whatever. So I bought these two. Um, these were also 75% off. And I actually think that they, they're doing away with these because I haven't found these anywhere else. Like I don't find these at Target, Walmart, um, Walgreens. CVS was the only place that I can find these. And now they're being clearance out. So I think these might be discontinued. I don't know. I'm going to have to check my sources on that. But anyways, these are normally about $9 a piece. I got them for 75% off. So I have my little receipts. To... So these were $2.37 a piece. I got a uh, Fuchsia. I love Fuchsia. goes great with my skin tone. And I picked up... This one is in True Red. Um, I don't know if this will work with me or not. I'm still kind of in that experimental stage just trying to find out, you know, figure what reds work on me and what don't. But um, anyways, it's just, I mean, it's a true red. It's, it's very gorgeous. The next thing that I picked up was um, a Milani. It's so hard to read. There, It's like a glitter polish. But this one is in Disco Lights. Um, these are normally $5. And I got this for 75% off. So once again, I mean, this thing was like, um, like a dollar. It's just like sparkly pink. It kind of reminded me of the Essie, um, the Essie top coats that they came out with last year that you can still find. That one, they have one that's um, clear polish and it's got pink sparkles in it, but those are a little bit bigger. But I found this one and I just think, I just like the pink sparkles. I thought it was kind of cute, so I figured I might as well, you know, spend a dollar versus eight that Essie costs. And Milani's actually not bad, so I have a Milani polish and I like it. Um, and you're going to find out that I bought a lot of Milani products. They have a lot of stuff that's on clearance. Anyways, I've always wanted to try this out. This is the Milani Glitzy, um, Glitzy Glamour Gloss. This one is in Glow Girl. It's just kind of a, I wouldn't really call it a hot, well, it kind of, I guess it kind of is a hot pink. I actually, um, tried this on last night and it's, you know, it's not bad. It's, it's not 
highly pigmented, but it's not very sheer. It's just kind of, it's buildable. So, I mean, this one, you know. Anyways, these are normally $7. Once again, I got this for 75% off. So, this one came out to be like $1.95. It's pretty, pretty happy with that. The next thing I bought, um, see, I don't really wear foundations. I mean, I kind of dabble in tinted moisturizers sometimes, but I don't really feel like my skin needs it so much, so I don't really use it, foundations, but um, I do like to kind of, you know, try things out and just kind of see what I like. So I decided to get, um, a lot of people do like the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. They like the I think there's powders and then there's the under eye concealer, which I actually bought one of those and I do like it. So I decided to try this one out. This one is normally $10. This one was 50% off, so I got it for about five. Um, it just, you know, looks like this. Nothing special. I'm sure you guys have seen it. This one, this one's actually in buff beige and I feel like this color might be a little bit too dark for my skin, but only certain colors were on clearance. I figured... You know, I really don't know too much about foundation, like what works with my skin tone. So I figure, not, you know, for $5, give it a shot. So we'll see how that works, you know. And they also, not only is their cosmetic products are on clearance, but some of their, like, their more beauty stuff is on clearance. So I don't use moisturizer. So I kind of came across a CVS brand. It's an Ultra Calm Daily Moisturizer. Um... It's for sensitive skin. I don't really have sensitive skin, but this was this was normally thirteen dollars. It was um seventy five percent off, so for three dollars, you know, not bad, you know. Um, it says compared to a Vino Ultra Calming Daily Moisturizer with SPF fifteen. So I mean, it wouldn't hurt to try it out, you know, just kind of. See how moisturizer reacts with my skin. So that was one trip. That was the trip from last night. Um, all in all, on these products, I spent $23.15. It told me on my receipt that I saved $42.55. So I bought $65.70 worth of makeup products for $23.15. So I thought that was pretty darn good. I was quite impressed with that as I knocked everything over and break it. Anyways, um... Sorry, this video is kind of long. I was already at like the seven and a half minute mark and I haven't even hit the bulk of it yet. All right, so I went today and I actually just got back home from the other trip. Um, this was the other CVS across town for me, so I found a lot more products that I wanted. Um, this one is the Sally Hansen Nail Art Pen. I've always wanted to try these. As you can see, this one was 50% off. This one is the white one. Kind of what sold me was I saw these little designs. Oops. I saw these designs on the side of the box and I was like, I want to try that one. I love checker pattern. So um, this one was originally um, $8. So I got it for like 4 Pretty darn good. The next thing that I got, we'll do some other nail art. Um, like I said before, the Milani, I do like their, um, fingernail polishes, so I came across this. This is their nail art with precision brush, so it's, you know, kind of like a striper. This one is Art of Gold. <laughs> art of Gold, Art of Gold. <laughs> Milani, you're so funny. Anyways, um, 75% off, you know. I thought I would, you know, Christmas time, festive gold. Um, this one was... About four dollars, so I guess this one was seventy-five percent off. So I got it for like a dollar. Pretty good. And I don't know if I'll use these or not, but the colors kind of caught my eye. Um, these are the Rimmel London um, Glam Eyes Quad Eyeshadows. These are fifty percent off. By the way, the um, the Rimmels that kind of look like the Union flag; those are also fifty percent off. I, I kind of thought about it, but I decided against it because, like I said, I, I kind of gravitate more towards the 75% off and the 50% off because I just think, you know, really cheap makeup, you know, maybe I could try colors that I normally wouldn't. Anyways, I got it in Green Sapphire, and I'm sorry, I have not opened these up, so I, you know. And then this one is called uh, Precious Crown. These are like dark jewel tones, like purple, blue, green, and black. I thought they were pretty. Um, these were, these were originally about five or six dollars. I got them for like two eighty nine. So these were like you know fifty percent off. 
And then I came across this. I've never really noticed this before, and I don't know how well this works, if at all, but it's the Revlon Grow Luscious Lash Liner. This one was 75% off. I got it in the color Espresso. I don't really have too many brown um, eyeliners, so I thought, you know, what the hey. Um, this one was... Six, seven, eight. This one was about eight or nine dollars, and I got it for like two and a quarter. So, yeah, you know, it wouldn't hurt to try it. Um, and this, um, when I went to the other the CVS, they also they had the um, the Revlon Color Burst lipsticks, like I showed you before, but they also had different colors that I didn't see at the other one. So I picked this one up. This one's in candy pink, and actually, I already have this color, and I didn't even realize it, so now I have a backup, and I do like the candy pink. It's it's like a very girly, um, let me show you the one that's opened. It's kind of like a very girly Barbie pink, so, you know, now I have two, and I do like this one, so I'm kind of happy about that. Uh, let's see, and then I found this Milani... Um, lipstick in rose hip. Um, I don't know anything about Milani's lipsticks. I don't know if they're good or bad, so I figured, you know, might as well try it. These are normally about six dollars, and I got this for a dollar fifty, so it was seventy five percent off. You know, it's just kind of like a a fuchsia. You see a theme here. I love kind of like fuchsia pinks, and it's got this really kind of weird design on it. So I don't know. I have. Maybe I can do a review on this and see if, you know, it's actually worth it or not. See if, you know, if it's drying or whatever. The last thing I got was the Milani Lip Flash Glosses. Um, I've seen some people, some YouTube videos, people, you know, kind of like these. So, these were all 75% off. And so, five, six... So they're about seven or eight dollars normally. I got these all for a dollar eighty-two a piece, so for less than two dollars a piece, I mean that's pretty good. They are the um, like I said, the Milani Lip Flash Full Coverage Shimmer Gloss Pencil. I'm not a big fan of shimmer, but for less than two dollars, I'll give it a shot. This one is, um, this one's in Photo Flash. It's kind of a, it's kind of like a, a red. I mean, it's just like a. Uh, blue tone red, I suppose. This one is called News Flash. This one is a very, very dark, vampy red. Kind of wish I'd open these now so I could show you guys better. This one is in Star Flash. This one is a very, it's more like a pearlescent, very light pink. They actually had pictures of, you know, models wearing these. And this one, I don't know how it showed up as like pink as it did on the model's lips because this one's like almost white but we'll see this one is in a flash this one's kind of like a purple I don't know we'll see and this one is called flashy and this one's kind of I don't know why I'm drawing a blank on color names right now it's kind of fuchsia -y, like a darker fuchsia so you know We'll see how those go. So all in all, on that trip, um, I spent $29.74. Um, it told me that I saved $58.97, which means, um, you know, I got $88.71 worth of makeup on this trip for $29.74. All in all, I did the math. On these two trips, um, I would have spent $154.41, but I only spent $52.89, so in essence, I saved about $100 on all these, you know, great products. So, got new makeup. Um, I actually just got rid of a bunch of my old makeup. Well, I wouldn't say old, but, like, stuff that I never used. I gave it away to friends, threw some out, you know, kind of went through that. So, I figure I have some room. I can replace some things. So, anyways, um, I hope this guy, or, I hope this, I hope this video was informational for, you know, seeing if there's anything that you're interested in maybe you want to rush out to CVS this is the third time that I've this is the third year that I've gone out and done this I probably started getting into makeup about three years ago and the first year that I went I actually went in January and I still saw some products and then um last year I was like they're doing it again and now this year I was wise I'm like they do this every winter so I guess starting right around this time they start putting everything on clearance and usually it runs into January um I guess it just depends on 
how quickly CVS is sell out, or I don't know if they put certain items on clearance now, and then a week or two later they put more stuff. I don't know how it works, but um, I was just really excited that I got all this stuff. You know, I can't wait to play with it. But um, well, I guess it's all. I guess we'll part ways. So thanks for watching. Bye.